Hill County, a small team of volunteers is quietly putting together thousands of pillows. And it all started almost two decades ago. Yuki Washington has the story of the Comfort Pillow Ministry and this week's brotherly love. This room is filled with the sounds of cutting, hole punching, and especially sewing. You want to hear those machines going? <laughs> this is Joyce Cook's baby. 18 years ago, in the wake of 9-11, Joyce started making comfort pillows, donating them to places like A.I. DuPont Children's Hospital, as well as cancer centers, hospices, and the VA. They're so excited to have the pillows and share them with their patients. Once a week, a small team of volunteers, including Joyce's husband, pieced together the pillows at United Methodist Church in Hokessin. Each one comes with a note of encouragement, a small prayer, and decorated with a heart. It's a pillow, but you know what? What it is is telling them you care. It's more than just a pillow. On this day, Donna Leo was handling the stuffing. Oh, I, lo I love the pillows. They're colorful, bright, and it, they seem to work. It, feel, it makes you feel really good, like you're doing something for someone that's in a bad situation. Joyce and the volunteers have been flooded with the donations as word of the project has spread. Her daughter Elaine says, I've run into people who say, your mom's the comfort pillow lady. <laughs> Joyce estimates they have made about 750 to 1,000 pillows every year. She did the math. Each pillow takes only a dollar and 20 cents worth of supplies. The labor? Well, it's a labor of love. It's all about helping other people and finding joy and sharing empathy and caring about people. People write letters and it just makes us want to do it all the more. And Joyce wants to help other people start their own comfort pillow projects and she has some easy instructions for newbies. You can get in touch with her through our website, cbsphilly.com. I'm Yuki Washington, CBS3 Eyewitness News.